Hey y'all, silky swag, swag. Um, yeah, I know it's been a while. Actually, I recorded three videos last weekend, but for some reason, they didn't want to upload. Um, I've chosen a winner for the contest. I've already contacted her. The winner is Hot Silver, so she'll be winning the four organic conditioners. Yeah, I'm kind of sad to see them go, but come free now. I've been doing pretty well with that, actually. I got a new product this week. The Comet Biologics Amla and Olive Heavy Cream. This is really good stuff. Like, I was so surprised. I've heard so many people ranting and raving about it. Well, raving about it more so than ranting. But, um, yeah. It's very citrusy. Mostly, like, lemon I don't know it smells like lemon to me but I love it um I did it on wet hair for my twists and it was still very soft and moisturized the next morning which never ever happens with anything else I use and so yeah this is a key at least for the winter because it is pretty thick but it leaves my hair so soft Good stuff. So yeah, this is a keeper. And I'm heavy handed with the products, but you really don't need that much with this stuff. Not at all. It's really thick. It's um castor oil based, if you didn't know. The ingredients are castor oil, olive oil, distilled water, organic amla, which is good. I love amla. Uh, organic Brahmi, love that too. Aloe, my hair loves aloe. Africana, MSM. I really don't know what that is, but must be good. Vegetable glycerin conditioning emulsifier. Um, yeah, I can't say that word. Phenoxyl ethanol and ethahexyl glycerin. <laughs> it says it's a paraben free and formaldehyde free preservative and essential oil blend so yeah good stuff I love it um yeah so this is my everyday well not everyday well my co-wash conditioner EO essentials rosemary and mint great stuff the ingredients in this are pretty much natural as well I'm not gonna read all of them I'll just read the good ones <laughs> organic Purified water, organic coconut oil, uh, vegetable glycerin, hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed canoa protein. Is that how you say that word? Whatever. Um, essential oil blend, organic herbal blend, aloe vera, organic chamomile, organic calendula, Organic white tea, organic, I don't know what that word is. Yeah, this is great stuff as well. I got this bottle <laughs> from Marshalls for $8.99, which is good because usually like when I looked online, like the 12 ounce bottles were like $10 and this is 32 ounces. So I get my conditioner from Marshalls. Oh. I also got this from Marshalls. Healthy Sexy Hair Pumpkin Conditioner. This is the only conditioner that I can leave in my hair as a leave-in. So this is a definite keeper. But the only thing is, I can't find it now. Marshalls doesn't carry it anymore. Well, it hasn't been there the last couple times that I went looking for it. And I got this bottle on clearance for $10, which makes me think that they probably won't have it anymore, which sucks because it's 64 ounces and it's great. Hopefully, I can find it somewhere else because this stuff is expensive too. Like, I looked online and it's like $12 for like a little 12 ounce bottle. So hopefully I can find that again. Um, This is my Shakai Everyday Shampoo. Now, I don't use this anymore since I'm not using cones but 
I mean, I guess if my hair does eventually feel like it has built up or really needs to be cleaned, I'll use it. Um, the ingredients are water, aloe vera gel, shakai extract, alofen sulfonate, yeah, and some other stuff I can't pronounce. But it also has glycerin and salt. Yeah, it's only like 10 ingredients and it's organic. So yeah, I like it. It's good. It always leaves my hair very soft, but yet it feels clean and not stripped. Uh, what else? Oh, my beloved kinky curly knot today. This is a great leave-in. It also gives me good curl definition. I use this as a moisturizer as well. I probably will start using this more in the summer since it's light. It's not as heavy as the Comet, but yeah. This is good stuff. It's just the bottle is so small. I just go through it like water. I'm very heavy handed with my products. I got this for Christmas and look. It's almost gone. This is 8 ounces. What else? What else? My Vatica oil. I use this on my scalp twice a week. Usually like the nights before I know I'm going to co-wash. Sometimes I forget and only do it once a week, but it works out pretty well. I like it. I like the smell of it. Some people don't like the oils, but I like it. It's a, basically just a coconut oil infused with henna, amla, some other herbs, and lemon. No mineral oil. Uh, avocado oil. This is good stuff. I use this to seal my hair. I also add it to my deep conditioner mix, which consists of, usually I'll use this conditioner or whatever else, other conditioner I have around. I'll mix some avocado oil or olive oil, brahmi powder, amla powder, honey or glycerin and um, a couple drops of rosemary essential oil. So yeah, that's my deep conditioner mix. Um, what else do I have? Oh, of course, if you have not today, you gotta have the curly custard. I use this for wash and goes, but I'm not doing wash and goes since it's winter and it's cold. But I do use it for my twists sometimes. If I want like a really defined twist out that will last me more than a day or two, I'll use this. Um, it also works if I have like somewhere to go and I want like a really curly defined look. Something like this where I don't have to like leave the twist in for long. I'll just use some of this while my hair is soaking wet. Put my hair in like five or six big twists. Take it out like 30-45 minutes later. Use the diffuser. Bam, I'm done. But yeah, that's all my products. That's all I use in my hair. On a daily basis, I moisturize. That's about it. I usually twist every night. It takes me about 20 minutes. I'll do four sections. When I wash my hair, co-wash my hair, I do my hair in four sections. Right down the middle. Um, And then each section. I'll comb out, detangle, and then twist. It's usually about four twists in each section. And it takes me about 20 minutes to do. So it's not bad to do every night, but some nights I'm lazy and then, you know, the next day I just do a puff or whatever. My twist outs don't last that long, which sucks. I'm looking for a remedy for that. Some people say they just sleep in their satin bonnet and fluff and go. No, that don't work for me. Not unless I use something gel based like the kinky curly like I said. But, mm -mm. but yeah, that's it guys. I